go back to Facebook and I said to him, my uh, younger brother just messaged me to say that I was actually on holiday when that James Haskell story <laughs> ran in the Daily Mirror. He remembered it. So I'm off the hook. So I may have to withdraw my apology to Mrs Haskell, the mum. <laughs> uh, but actually, I'll, I'll take responsibility because I take accountability. <laughs> when you're the boss, you're the boss, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll take that on for the team. Um, well, Prince Harry says he's a feminist. Uh, so in his own words, here's how he talks about women from his mother-in-law to the disabled matron at his school. You wrote, I even wanted Camilla to be happy. Maybe she'd be less dangerous if she was happy. Mm -hmm. How was she dangerous? Because of the need for her to rehabilitate her image. That made her dangerous? That made her dangerous because of the connections that she was forging within the British press. I want to sort of just briefly talk about your stepmother in the press, because you, you, you are pretty consistently scathing and suggest that y you are... Scathing? Well... What's scathing towards... Well, as in you say that your interests were sacrificed on her PR altar. I think in the book it's very clear what happened. There's no part of any of the things that I've said are scathing towards any member of my family, especially not my stepmother. Unlike the other matrons, Pat wasn't hot. Pat was cold. Pat was small. Walking was hard. Stairs were torture. She'd descend backwards, glacially. Often we'd stand on the landing below her doing antic dances, making faces. Do I need to say which boy did this with the most enthusiasm? We went on mocking her as she came down the stairs. The reward was worth the risk. For me, the reward wasn't tormenting poor Pat, but making my mates laugh. Who the hell is this editor? Loathsome toad, I gathered. Everyone who knew her was in full agreement that she was an infected pustule on the arse of humanity, plus an excuse for a journalist. Now that editor happens to be a good friend of mine. Uh, and, yeah, not a nice way to speak about a woman, right? Especially someone who gets so uptight when people use that kind of language about his wife. Well, joining me now is journalist and friend of Camilla, Petronella Wyatt, the son's raw photographer, friend of everybody, Arthur Edwards, and the journalist and historian, Dr Tessa Dunlop. Arthur, let me start with you, because you've covered the royals for longer than I've been alive. Well, not sorry quite. To, not quite <laughs> sorry to jump that <laughs> one on you. Only 40 years, <laughs> <but> Nearly, <laughs> Only nearly. 40 years. Um, <laughs> but you know them, you've known them all very, very well. What, what do you make of this, this book and the interviews around it? Well, I've, you know, I'm pretty disgusted the way he said about Camilla because uh, she is just the nicest person. And, you know, when she married the prince, he risked everything for that. There was yes. a lot of hostility towards him over that. But you know what? She just got her head down, worked and worked and worked. And I remember those early jobs with her. She was so nervous, but she kept trying, trying, trying. And in the end, people got to love her because they found what a really nice person she is. And Harry just trashing her like that, I, I was so... I really wanted to smack him one, you know. I thought mm. it was an awful thing to do. And she's been nothing but nice to him. I remember once when he, in, I think it was 2000, 2017, and he made some stupid mistake, a, a, a statement about he didn't want to be a member of the royal family mm. anymore. And I remember talking to her about it the next day. She said, you know, he's such a lovely boy. Mm. Camilla, all she said was how nice he was, yeah. you know. speaking. Listen, I've known Camilla <laughs> a long time. She comes from the next door village to me. I've known her a long time in her family. They're yeah. incredibly nice people. Very down to earth, very normal. I had lunch with her, um, this now infamous lunch with Jeremy Clarkson was out just before Christmas. Uh, she was utterly delightful to everyone. And I don't think she deserves this. No, do I. To be called a dangerous villain by, by <laughs> Prince Harry as we head towards a coronation where her and Charles are going to, you know, be crowned our king and queen of this country. I just felt it was so damaging and unnecessary. Tessa, defend it. I just would like, as it's all about truth and accuracy, I'm not sure he called her a dangerous villain. Well, he did. He, I, he called well, her no. a villain and dangerous. No, he explained <laughs> that she was the villain of the piece because she was the other woman. Mm. Slightly taken out of context, in fact, that line. It just, just... Yeah, but he knows, what he's right. he knows when he writes those things, that'll be the headline. Uh, you're he's been around. You're crediting him with high um, intelligence, and I think he's Harry has many stupid. things. No, I don't, think, I don't think he's stupid, no. actually. <laughs> I don't I think, think anyone would accuse him I of high I think he has high EQ. I think he's got high ego. And we're seeing the full blast of it right now. You, well, what about the way he generally talks about women? Yeah, just, can we just pick up on the Camilla thing and what you two yeah. have both said, that she's charming, that, you know, she's yeah. the woman next door, literally, for you, the village next door, that she does have this very natural way. She's comfortable in her skin. She fits in. She gets on with it. She loves a gin. She loves a fag. We all love Camilla. Do you know, when that replaces your dead mother and when you feel like an outsider... Mm. There's umbrage there. Yeah, but sure. There's but, a feeling... Yeah, but hang on, but hang on. His mother, I... di his mother died in 1997. Yeah. We're now 2022. He's nearly 40 years old, all right? They're just... They, there comes a time... It's 2023. There comes a time when you just have to 
<laughs> not move on and forget your mother, but actually accept your father's very happy with a woman you've been married to for 17 years. Why would you try and ruin her reputation in the run-up to the coronation? I think there's probably aspects of jealousy where she has managed to rehabilitate her, her image. And interestingly, she's done that in Britain. She hasn't successfully done that in other realms or indeed within the Commonwealth where things are on much well, thinner well, ice. And she hasn't thanks. been given a chance no, yet. But it is, therefore, his point stands, Reid, that this I don't it is it. about her ability to work alongside the press, of which both of you two are significant players. Sure. So, so that point stands. Now, it as for his stand, relationship actually. with his stepmother, only they know the real truth, don't they? And we're only hearing well, one we're never side. Gonna, we're <laughs> never going to hear Camilla's side. Camilla has she, other things to protect. No, no, her. Camilla will never. She will never respond to any of this. And that's why I feel sorry for all the royals because they're trapped now with this no, hand grenade the, going the, off. The thing is that Cam Camilla had to endure such vicious attacks from the press and a level of violence from the public that Meghan. Um, and a lot of never hate did. Now. A lot yeah, of it, hate I mean, now I well. remember. Never, it was when, never even close. <laughs> I remember when Camilla had bread rolls thrown at her. Yeah, that that she story never, was not true. Well, she says it's not true. Maybe it wasn't, no. but there was. She really was at one point the most hated woman in Britain. And Diana, who um, was much cleverer with the press and was younger and more beautiful. <laughs> well, Diana learned to uh, work with the media. I mean, she used to work exactly, with me. But, but Harry Diana used to ring me. me up. Harry and worked with me yes. about but stuff. But the point is that Camilla never complained. No. She never schemed. <laughs> I mean, I've known her since I was. No, I agree. She's incapable it's of. Quite a scheming. nice lady. Let me ask you on a wider point about the way that he talks about other women in this book, and in, in particular, not just taking down his sister-in-law, which he does. I mean, revealing text messages after his wife sues a newspaper for revealing contents of a letter from her father. The brass neck of Harry to then reveal text <coughs> messages without the consent of Kate in his book to make money. Yes, but what struck me is the tawdriness of the book, um, the sexual aspects, which you might Mounting expect... older women behind the pub. Yeah, you might expect that exactly. from a huh? reality TV no, star. No, even the Kardashians would edit yeah, that Yeah, but out. you don't expect it from um, the royal family. And it is very sexist, it's very disrespectful. And the stuff about this poor matron, women. Pat Jones, she has a name, Pat Jones. She was I the know. matron at Love Grows School. He calls her greasy, he calls her ugly. None of the boys got <coughs> horny when they saw her. She had a spinal deficiency, which he mocked and did it in person. He mocked the way exactly. she Exactly, why does he have to... How can you defend any of that? Uh, why does he have to talk about Todgers, for example? Oh, yeah, but more importantly, how can he, how can he I, I take make, down his matron like that? I want to make two points. One, to answer your specific question on the matron. That is preparatory school mentality. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I think they should be confined to the dust. But why would you put yes, it in a book? Yes, but it's yeah. been written. Why, when you're now? supposedly a great feminist, it, why would you, why would you annihilate <laughs> this yeah, poor innocent woman? We don't even know if she's alive or not, but the, or whether her family have read this. But this was probably something she talked about. The, I, I was a matron of Brazil. But the whole point is, just hang on. It was written now. 